If you would like this hat or other merch for yourself, please check out my new store at Teespring. Find it in the description down below. Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3 and we have escaped the Nautiloid. It was a bit of a bumpy ride, but hey, some kind of some kind of Fresh force water. just there must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Saved our life right at the end there. I need a quick word. Oh, that's Shadowheart. Um, hi girl. This is not how we meet her in early access. Let's just wake her. She didn't seem to want to tell us about that artifact. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I was hoping that you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling then nothing. What happened to the gift? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We? You want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving then. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. <laughs> Just like a Telltale game, huh? <laughs> She'll remember that. Actually, I am curious. I wonder if... Okay, item context menu. Every item has a context menu where you may use them, tag them as wares, or send them to another party member. Very good. Yeah, I wonder if uh, she would have been a little bit further down had we not gotten her out of that pod. No one back home will ever okay, this. also, this little icon right here means that we are ready to level up. We're going to get our first level up right now. Druid level two. Specialization available. Oh, it just kept going. <laughs> okay, subclass. We are going to be doing the Circle of the Spores. We'll go through each of these just so I'll read off the little blurb on them. Druids of this circle connect to the powerful magic that flows through the earth and binds all living things together. Circle of the Moon. Druids sworn to the moon, drawn on its mercurial nature to transform into a massive creature and primal elementals. So in this one, I think this is the only one that allows you to wild shape into a bear. Is that right? Yeah, you don't get wild shape into bear unless you're Circle of the Moon. Um, we're going to be doing Circle of the Spores, viewing death, necrosis, fungal growth, and sporulation as just another part of life. You can manipulate such spores to augment yourself and harm your foes. The subclass feature, as an action, you can assume the form of a beast. You can transform twice per short rest. This is pretty standard. I think all of the subclasses get that. Um, and these are the beasts that we can turn into. Like I said, Circle of the Moon also adds uh, the bear to it. But we got wolf. We've got a badger, we got a spider. Wait. Oh yeah, that, that one's the wolf and that one's the cat. Cool. Uh, actions. Halo of spores, one to four damage. Unleash a cloud of necrotic spores upon a target. This uses a reaction, so other reactions won't trigger this turn. Okay. Symbiotic entity. Gain eight temporary hit points and deal an additional an, an additional one to six necrotic damage while you have them. Cast Halo of Spores with double damage. So this takes one of our Wild Shape charges. So we get two of those per short rest, and it would take one of those in order for us to put this on, but it stays on pretty much all day. So once you long rest, you'll have to use it again, 
and it uses up one of your wild shape charges, but that seems pretty dang good. A symbiotic entity. So like, every time we rest, every time we go to camp, I can come back from that, pop this, use one of my wild shape charges, and it'll be there. I mean, it says until long rest, so even a short rest shouldn't negate it. That's pretty powerful. And then for a cantrip, we have Bone Chill. 1 to 8. Ooh, it's range too. And it's a cantrip? Okay. So we don't, like, we now have a ranged option that isn't a spell slot. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. An undead target receives disadvantage on attack rolls, and it does 1d8 necrotic. Yeah, this is cool. Okay. This is a subclass that was not available in early access, so should be fun to play around with. Okay, and I should probably just show you that we can go into our spell book and uh, both the uh, cleric and um, the druid uh, can switch out their spells. Not every class can switch out their spells um, whenever they want, so keep that in mind. Um, so wait, which ones are active? Why is Goodberry active? That was not what we had before, was it? Oh, and we got our new, we got another spell slot, I think. That's what, or another place to, another slot to put something in. So it put Goodberry in. Um, I just don't think that I'll use Goodberry that often. Seems kind of useful, but. Maybe we should do, like, Fog Cloud for a decent, like, CC. Blinds and heavily obscures creatures within it. It's it's double-sided because we also can't hit people who are in it, but could still be very useful. Animal Friendship, we can switch in when we need it. Entangle, Charm Person. Um... The target might accuse you of enchanting them in higher difficulty modes. Huh, <laughs> cool. Checks out. Yeah, maybe let's try Fog Cloud. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Uh, for you, do I want to switch anything out? Um, I probably want either Bless or Bane. These can be very, very useful. Bless up to three creatures. They gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Um, inflict Wounds is powerful. Guiding Bolt is powerful. 3d10... Or 4d6. Yeah, I'm going to take Inflict Wounds off and take Bless instead. Uh, Bane is the opposite of Bless, where it does a minus d4 to enemies. Okay. That's good stuff. Uh, Shadowheart, your level up. You may actually get a new slot as well. I should have done this first, but that's okay. Okay, health increased, you're now 17 HP. Class features, you get a channel divinity charge, which we'll see what that does in a minute. Uh, level one spell slot unlocked, very good. Actions, turn undead. This is one of the channel divinities. So pray to turn all undead that see you. And turning means that the affected entity must move away from the creature that turned it. It can't take actions, bonus, a bonus actions, or reactions other than dash or try to escape an effect that prevents movement. And invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Within three meters of the illusion, attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. Okay. Okay. So she's a half-elf. Okay, so yeah, you did get another open slot, and honestly, Cure Wounds probably is what I would want anyway. What does Sanctuary do? You or an ally cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. You can still take damage from area spells. Hmm, okay, interesting. I'm sure it has its place. Um, our spore thing should show up in this, shouldn't it? Okay. Well, anyway. 
got a long road ahead. So, we should probably do symbiotic entity. So you can see here that we now have this wild shape charge. These are the two things we can do. We can actually use it for wild shape or we can use it for symbiotic entity. I'm gonna use symbiotic entity. And now we have that bonus HP. And we should have that extra D8 being added to all of our attacks. That's wild. I like it. Um, and then here with Shadowheart, she now has a channel divinity. And it can be recharged once per short rest. So invoke duplicity and turn undead are the things that she has for channel divinity. And this is based off of the subclass that she's in, which I can't remember what her subclass is called. Um, but all of these characters start, I think, with specific subclasses. But later, I think we can respec her if we really okay. wanted to. I think a lot of people consider her subclass to Time not to be a very good one for clerics, but... Open up. Highlight nearby items, make it easier to find loot. Left alt, already been using it. <laughs> a blagger tat. Okay. Also... If I picked this up, this could also serve as an extra sort of like slot for me to kind of organize items. So sometimes it's good to pick up little bags like this. Um, this one, one weight. How much do these ones? That one's a point one. We should probably find a smaller bag. So I'm actually going to drop that. But like, wasn't there a pouch somewhere nearby? Yeah, there's a pouch right there. So the pouch probably weighs less, but... We could pick that up and use it to sort of organize our inventory a little bit if we wanted to. Like, if I wanted to, I could put, you know, all of the items that I want to sell into there. So, I'll just take that because I want to. Okay, double-clicking opens it too. Good. Anything of use? Okay, so anything that's labeled camp supplies, for camp supplies, this will come into um, into play a little bit later. But anything that's labeled that, I'm going to send directly to camp so that it's not weighing us down. You have a personal chest at camp. Use it to store items you don't want to carry while exploring. And we don't need to keep that with us, so. All right, had to pause my recording. I noticed that I was having some drop frames, but I think that we might be fixed now. There was just one setting in OBS I needed to change, so... I'll keep an eye on it, make sure that it's smooth. I know that I can get it really smooth, so... We'll just have to keep an eye, but already looking much, much better. Alright, now that we got into this area, uh, this area is a much larger part of the open world, so it's using a little bit more resources than it was before. Uh, Murgrass. Oh, something else I like about these games is when you see the names, if you click on the name when that's active, you'll go and pick it up. Which can be nice when it's hard to see what you're grabbing. Okay, bucket of fish. We'll send those to camp. Shanties for the bitch queen. I'll read that, why not? And we all row with the spray upon our necks, and we all row with the spray upon our backs, and we all row with the sea beneath our feet, and the bitch queen stays the storm. Wave mother, wave mother, lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, we asked to... We ask to sail your skirt, if you allow. Wave mother, wave mother, sink us if you will. Wave mother, wave mother, our skulls are yours with brine and sand to fill. It's worth 14. Pick up and add to wares. We'll, we'll, we'll sell the, the bitch book. <laughs> you can read books and notes you picked up in your inventory. We surely can. Now, notice that in my inventory, I do have a weight thing, so eventually we will become encumbered. Um, so, yeah. I think at encumbered, you start walking slow, heavily encumber encumbered, you can't move at all. Might be useful. Perfumed letter. Sigh, I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. And keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. 
Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. All right. I wonder if we can meet Anna. Leave your boat and meet me at the... I want to keep this. So this perfumed letter seems like it might... Like, it sounds like she's at Baldur's Gate. Like, this is the sort of thing that I might put in there. Oh. Maybe? What happened to it? <laughs> okay, it's in there. Good. <laughs> Weird. Okay, let's put it at the top. I wonder why it went so low. <laughs> well, at any rate, it's in there. Oh yeah, we have hat. It's hideous. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I would not be surprised if we can find Anna in Baldur's Gate way, way, way later in the game. So... Poor guy. Pick up the Belladonna. Found a waypoint. That's what these little icons are. Ancient sigil circles. No traps, please. You'll be able to teleport to this location by selecting it in your map. M to open map. Ooh, trap disarm. Cool. I don't know if hammers are used for anything yet, but a trap disarm is good. Whoops. I wanted to send that to camp. Be sure to collect food and drinks. You will need them to restore your health and resources when taking a long rest. You'll get to see how that plays out uh, in a bit. Um, let's see. Could have sworn like shift click used to do this. Is it alt? No. Eh, oh well. Maybe I changed it when I was changing some of my other shortcuts by accident, but Um send to camp. There we go. If you start doing that now, you're gonna you're gonna save yourself a lot of hassle. Um with maintaining your weight and your inventory and stuff. So boom. We can go to camp, and now we have the overgrown ruins. Can I select them from here too? Yes, I can. Cool. Dagger root. Recipe unlocked? I don't think we did any recipe stuff. Um, where do recipe? Oh, it's in alchemy. Well, would you look at that? I think this is completely new. Potion of healing. Rogue's Morsel, and any Suspension. Suspension is like liquids. They are commonly linked to water. Elixir of Resistance, Fire. Alchemist's Fire, okay. Sublimate of Belladonna. Oh, here are suspensions. One more Murgrass and we can make a suspension of Murgrass. Okay. And then for this, you can use any suspension. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool. All right. I, I figured there'd be something like this, but... Can't get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. No thief tools available. We don't have anything to try to unlock that with. Oh, and if I didn't mention it... If I didn't mention it, I'm a complete loot whore, so... Get used to it, I guess. Okay, so if I shift C, everybody crouches. Um, that should be... Where did, where were we able to do that? Toggle hide, right there. So if you just do C, only the character that's selected crouches, I think. But you can see there where they can see you. Um, and part of me wants to go up here and see if we can get a surprise attack on them. 
And actually, I'm gonna leave you down here. Out of sight, out of and then mind. you, let's see, is this the, which one is the cantrip? Yeah, it is bone chill. Stay back. One strike could be lethal. Okay. Positioning is important. Range attacks from above are more likely to hit, while range attacks from below hit less often. Surprise. Your enemies are surprised and cannot take actions. Oh, man. You should allow me to close those, please. I wonder if that's an option in the menu. Um, if so, I, I might want to check that. Um, okay. So, boom. There's that. Oh, now you don't have any... Yeah, no, that's fine, actually. Okay, you have three spell slots. Let's go to you. You're technically not in the fight yet. Nice. Now she's joined the battle, too. No choice but to keep going. Okay, since they were surprised, that's all they can do. On the next turn, they should be able to do more actions, though. Oh, that's what I have equipped. No? There we go. I wonder why it wouldn't let me select it before. Oh, because I've already used my action. I'm still in my surprise round. Gotcha. Okay, high ground, so our percentage is going to be higher than it normally would be. Well, you know, that's going to happen sometimes. Uh, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful about making sure that we select the right uh, person to hit there, huh? That was dumb. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Do you actually have to cast this? I don't know how reactions work. So I can use this when I want. It doesn't work like a opportunity attack. Choose whether the reaction triggers automatically or whether the game pauses for your input. Um. Interesting. Okay. So I guess we use this almost on our turn but it's not used like a reaction. I thought it would be used like a reaction, but actually us being able to trigger it, I kind of like. Okay. Sorry, girl. You did not need to get hit like that. Oh, a symbiotic entity, a concentration spell? Nothing important is ever easy. Let's see. Mm, no, I don't see it say concentration anywhere. Okay, for a second I thought she lost it, but I don't think she did. I'm not entirely sure, I'm going to be honest with you. And it ends early if you use wild shape. Okay. Oh, it must have just crossed out because we lost our bonus HP. So does it only last as long as you have the bonus HP? While you have them. Yes, okay. There it is. All right. Can't afford to let up. Gotcha. All right. I, I missed that part of it. Um, I don't think I have any AoEs. I don't... Yeah, this is a single target. Okay. You're going to use your bonus action to do a bit of a heal on yourself. Yeah, sorry for the disadvantage on your attack rolls, girl. I really, I really messed myself up by, by misclicking, didn't I? Jesus. A little help, please. Yeah, we're gonna lose. <laughs> Damn, we only got one. The rest of them saved. Oh, that one was a concentration spell and I just broke it by taking fall damage. Okay, so let me let me explain that to you. So many mistakes already made. Um, okay, all targets within light turn visible attack rolls against them have advantage. So the one that 
would have had we would have had advantage on um no longer has it so notice that down there it says 18 meters it also says deck save and then it says concentration so concentration Caster needs to focus on maintaining this spell. They can only cast one concentration spell at a time, and their concentration might be broken when they take damage. So ev whenever they take damage, they roll to see whether or not they maintain concentration or not. We failed, therefore we no longer have concentration, which means that we just wasted our turn, <laughs> basically. Um, we can use this though. He saved, so no damage. But that was our reaction for this turn. Okay. We're going to do that. Okay. Let's see if we can... Yep. Just enough damage to kill you. That's good. And... A little extra three damage there. Lucky us. Not so lucky us. Alright. Now you have two more spell slots. Let's see. Healing Word is the bonus action one. I'm going to use that. That'll get you back up and back into the fight. And you can still attack. Almost. Okay. We're gonna pop a potion, because we totally misplayed this fight. <laughs> so many mistakes. They add up, man. Alright. We're just trading it off. Um, come on. Turn-based mode, you asshole. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, like, mashing it. Um, so, right now, our girl is taking death saving throws. You've entered turn-based mode. The game is paused around you and time is broken down in a rounds that represents six seconds each. Um, I went back into turn-based mode so that it wouldn't automatically count down to her next, uh, uh, saving throw. Does it say how many she's gotten... Okay, looks like she's gotten a couple good ones, but... Um, we're gonna go ahead and pop her up. And there we are. Um, yeah, that was scary. Okay, so... Exit turn-based mode. And I think right now we're gonna take one of our short rests. This will heal us up a little bit, and some things will recharge. Let's see, once per long rest. Okay, one of our wild shape charges will recharge on this. Um, can I repop this? So I can pop this and then do the rest, right? May as well. Um, but these spell slots are long rest, so each of our characters has one spell slot left. Just a brief respite. Okay. Eight hit points each. At least things have stayed interesting. Ooh, man, that did not go well. I made a lot of mistakes there. Alchemical solutions. Cool, it tells you that. I like that. What's in here? Send that to camp. Might use that. I don't... There might be a character that might need that. Moving ahead. All right, let's regroup. So Shadowheart, you can follow. Was there anything up here? Okay, we got a chest up here. Let's go get that. So 
So yeah, being mindful of concentration spells is generally a good idea. Ooh, some poison. I bet you we can throw that at people. Um, we also haven't tried throwing any of these void bulbs, but we can throw those too. My faith protects me. Mysterious artifact. A many-sided artifact of black and iron engraved with pulsating runes. Something stirs within. Intriguing. Um, also, you can get scrolls, so uh, single-use magic. Focus your mind to read the thoughts of certain creatures while talking to them. My faith will yeah, what else does she have? Blessing of the Trickster, grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. Okay, something we can use. Disguise self. Okay, she also has guidance. Charm person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so she just gets charm person to disguise self because of her uh, subclass. She always has those prepared. Okay. Looking ahead. I was gonna say I don't remember picking that. Can't slow down. Thieves tools, those are used to unlock uh, chests. But that will fit in my bag. Alchemy. You can craft your own potions, poisons, and elixirs using alchemy, gather ingredients to distill into extracts, and experiment to brew wonder wondrous solutions. Yeah, get over there. Pick up that Murgrass. Alright, it also is important to note that, like, sometimes there might be things hidden in environments. And, um, if you don't move close enough to them, it won't do the automatic, uh, dice check to see if you saw it or not. So, something to keep in mind. Is that sometimes you want to be pretty thorough about exploring areas and walking around different places. Um, okay. So let's try a lockpick. This is not something we're necessarily proficient in, um, but we also don't have any minuses to it. So our dexterity is giving, okay, dexterity is giving us a plus, but um, it's not a skill we have a proficiency in, which would have given us even more bonuses. Let's add guidance though. Difficulty class is only five, so, and I think it only costs the thieves tool if, if you fail. I could be wrong about that though. Okay, it did use it. Glad it tells you. Uh, leather helmet, dexterity saving throws plus one. Um, it counts as light armor, so you do have to have light armor proficiency. Uh, so let's see, you should be able to do this because you, you can use light armor. So if you equip that now for dexterity saving throws, you'll get an extra plus one. Um, I don't usually like the helmets to be on, so luckily this game gives you the option to have it equipped but not have it be seen, so we're going to do that. Good stuff. Always like options like that. Let's go talk to this character up here first, and then we'll we'll go down into this area. Hey! I need some help! Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Oh, you must have seen that, huh? S easily. Stand back. There. Can you see it? Oh. 
just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. All right, our perception check helped us out here. If this is a robbery, you're off to a bad start, elf. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Put the knife away, and I'll tell you everything. I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Alright, apology accepted. I might have done the same where the roles reversed. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. We'll just introduce. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately, they'll uh, turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... Ha! <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? I think we need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Okay, well, our odds are better together. You should travel with me. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. All right, the pale el uh, the pale elf has joined us. Party line: Your party is shown on the side of your screen. Portraits show your character's health and conditions. Drag the portraits apart to split the party. Yeah. So on top of just using G or pushing this button, you can also separate one individual person just like that, and yeah, reattach them just like that. Um, so yeah, Asterion is here. He is a um, uh, uh, what is it? Rogue? Yeah. So he's a level one rogue. And you'll notice that he comes in at whatever your party level is. So I think it I think it's a full party level system. I could be wrong about that, but at least when they join you, it levels them up to wherever you're and wherever your party is at. Whether or not that stays the same if you use them or leave them at camp or whatever, um, I don't really know. Um, so yeah, here's our rogue. 17 HP. Cunning action hide, which is a bonus action. Hide from any enemies by succeeding stealth checks. Stick to the dark and avoid enemy sight lines. Attacking or casting a spell will reveal your location. He has bonus action dash and a bonus action disengage. So these would normally be full actions in most combats, but rogues get to use them as a bonus action, which can be quite useful, actually. Okay. Elven weapon training. See in the dark up to 12 meters. Okay, cool. Plus three on his initiative. All right. We have ourselves another party member. Uh, hi, pig. I need a quick word. Come here, bro. Squee! Oh, I could have, I could have put on. Uh, do I have speak to animal yet? I think I do. Maybe I don't. Uh, raise your palms to calm the boar. 
I think we have animal friendship. But we do have proficiency in animal handling, so we have lots of bonuses on this. The boar grunts and eyes you warily with its beady eyes. Don't worry, I won't harm you. The boar shuffles its trotters, unsure. Then it dashes away into the wilderness. Yeah, all right, he's gone. <laughs> okay. So, Z to jump. Well, I think I could have walked across that anyway. Deep grooves in the mud around that rock. Okay, not enough strength. Who is who does have the highest strength? So eight, thirteen. What am I to do? Let's see if you can move it. So you can click and drag to move things. Um, I had a spot. There we go. Ooh, there we are. Let's move. Very cool. Ruby. An onyx. Potion of speed. Plus two bonus to armor class, advantage on deck saving throws, and double your movement speed. Wow, those are really good. Harper's map. This stained ragged map has passed through countless hands. A little harp marks an area called Moonrise Towers, with a small inky crescent sketched in the nearby forest. Below the crescent is a more recent scrawl, Cash. Harper's Notebook. A tattered collection of reports held together with a moon and harp seal. There is frequent mention of sacrilegious activity among a local Selenite sect. All right. Now I wonder, is that marked? That's our hidden cache. It's marked. Okay, very cool. I like it. All right, now on the map, it also shows you kind of here the outline of the areas where you can actually explore. So you can use that to your advantage and uh, make sure that you've been thorough with your exploration. Okay, so maybe we should come up in here, see if there's anything there. Breathe deep and move. to be dangerous even if injured best be careful best be careful indeed you approach the dying monster this is the thing that abducted you you could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion compassion <laughs> No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. <laughs> Get out of my head, bro. Whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Okay. don't 
think I want to concentrate on its thoughts. This thing is like built for like mind shit. Take advantage of the lapse to break free. Plus, I'm not good at intelligence. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. Oh my god. Brutal. Alright, Vernak. Fucking badass over here. Death is too good for it. Okay, caustic bulbs do acid damage. A little bomb right there. Yeah, he's just carrying around a skull. No biggie. He's a good guy, though, you know. Who doesn't carry around a skull every once in a while? Alright, is there anything up here that we need? I don't think so. Alright, and this just leads back to where we were, right? Yep, this is where we met Asterion. Okay. So no, we're, we're, we're good that direction. So we'll head out this way. Okay, pathway up here. Anything of use? Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Yeah. She's a loot whore too. Just like me. And a supply pack. 40 camp supplies. You definitely want these when you see them. We'll send that straight to camp. Ooh, look at that. Necrotic damage. Um, is there any reason we wouldn't be able to use this? Goblin bow. 4 to 14 with extra necrotic damage. Not proficient with simple weapons. Yeah, I can't use it, but other somebody else can. Oh, that's just showing the 1d6 that we get from our symbiotic entity. Gotcha. Nothing special about it, then. But, speaking of... You do have a bow already. Okay. We still need to find you a hand, bow, uh, a hand crossbow. Um, I think we can just mark this... As aware. Light on my feet. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. I'll approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. As if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Touch it. Because that's a good idea. It seems to be my MO. Touching shit that looks spooky. <laughs> a hand? Anyone? Um, I'm sorry, who are you? You could just slap the hand, that's hilarious. Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Okay, let flow some words of prayer to soothe the sigil's magic. Working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh. Hello. Hi. A gale of water deep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Uh, at introductions? At magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. How did you get stuck in that stone? Never mind the Nautiloid. Lloyd. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. 
As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. I haven't a clue, to be honest. <laughs> landed it safely and saved the day. Yeah, I took control of the ship, landed it safely and saved the day. We're going to be a little... A little sarcastic. That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, <laughs> but here you stand. So who am I to argue? Damn right, Gail. Still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? <laughs> Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? Suppose not. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Says most. the cleric. No doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As a druid, I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? All right, sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. All right, we have a full party. So if you weren't aware, four is the uh, party limit in this game. And at this point, when we find new companions, we'll have to make choices and um, you can switch them in and out, just so you know. All right, so health is up to 14. He has a level one spell slot. You can see that he is a wizard. His subclass features, Evocation Savant. Learning evocation spells from scrolls costs half as much, becoming 25 gold pieces per spell slot, per spell level. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn how that works. Um, Cause I don't know how that's gonna work. How to learn spells from scrolls, but Sculpt spells. Create pockets of safety within your evocation spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws against these spells and take no damage from them. Ooh, cool. Okay. I don't think that this was the subclass that Gale actually was in early access, because he didn't have this stuff. So in other words, basically, um, spells that are like AoE damage, um, with sculpt spell, it doesn't do damage to your party if they're within that AoE. Two spell slots. Or no, gain two spells. Gotcha. Okay, choice is pending. Okay, so I get to pick here. Ooh, magic missile's a good one. It can't miss. That's, that's the one nice thing about magic missile. It may not be the highest damage, but it always hits. Um, I kind of want to look at what other spells you have already, but... Find Familiar could be interesting. Ooh, Featherfall could be useful. False life gives you seven temporary hit points. Blind creatures up to a combined 33 hit points. Burning hands, that's, that's mostly good if they get close to you, which actually can be good because if you only have ranged options, if somebody gets in melee range, then you end up getting disadvantaged because you're threatened. 
but you'd still be able to use Burning Hands. So that one could be a good one. Okay, shield. It's a reaction, does take a spell slot, but when you are about to be hit by an enemy, increase your armor class by 5. You take no damage from Magic Missile. Oh, cool. So it'll block Magic Missile, too. Um... Yeah, I can never give up Magic Missile. It has so much utility. It's so good. Oh, I think I could have gone... I think that you still have a spell book, but it's only learn spells. But you can switch out whatever you want within those learn spells. Okay, so you grease. You do have firebolt as a cantrip. So like the grease and firebolt thing could be useful, but it does take two turns because each of them takes an action. Um, mage armor. Protect a target from attacks. Increase its armor class to 13. I think I'm going to take that out. And honestly, I've used Witch Bolt a couple times. It can be useful in some situations, but I don't know. It's, it's disappointed me a lot. So I think we'll do that. So we got Magic Missile and Thunder Wave. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Learn more spells. So you could learn Detect Thoughts. Costs 100 gold. So that's how that works, though. Alright. Good to know. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, you can unlock it there. Excuse me? So I guess if you have nothing else, you probably always want to do that. But I think on you, since you have an action that you can take that takes a reaction, we always wanted to ask this. That way we can opt out. But everybody else who doesn't have anything else as a reaction, why does it do that? Whatever it takes. Don't touch me. There we go. Okay. Watch Just a weird way. bug. So yeah, we'll want it to ask on on you. Mm. I applaud your taste. And then we'll want it to ask on you. That way we can trigger shield if we want to. And that does take a spell slot. Okay. It's not free. Okay, this is a new uh, fast travel location as well. Let's get going. Never wanted the easy path. Ooh, that noise. I guess that's just like the ship creaking. Maybe I need more pockets. Okay, new recipe. Alright, we've collected quite the group so far, haven't we? Yellow as a toad. There's Lazelle. Ugly. The thing's dangerous. Damn, that was kind of rude. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy house. Under elf. Play time, I miss her. Ooh, damn. Okay. I'm the under elf, by the way. 
uh, drow are under elf. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, let's try an intimidation. Advantage, disadvantage, situational. Looks like we don't have advantage. I wonder if because we're a drow, we don't have advantage. We're not getting disadvantage, though, so that's something. But difficulty class 5, we just... Odds are in our favor. Okay. Very good. Demaze. Come, I miss her. Gail approves. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. <laughs> Okay, they don't want to talk. Observe and listen. Enough, You'll hear Get goblins before you see them. As you say. Um, okay, can I use bone chill for this? Nah, probably not. Let's see, you've do. got a bow. Well, a crossbow. There you go. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, She's so the rude. more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. What exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Well, a simple thank you really wouldn't go amiss here, girl. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. I mean, if she can do it, that that is a that is a big thing. But damn, is she cold? Uh, Gith Yankee. Definitely look down on the, uh, the, what, what is the, the, the prime, I don't, I don't remember what they call it in D&D, &D, but they have different planes of existence and, um, Mind Flayers and Githyanki are from some other plane of existence. Um, like the Nine Hells is a plane of existence, right? And then you've got the, is it the Primal Plane? I don't remember what they call it in D&D, &D, but, um, where, basically where all of the earth stuff happens that's not like a heaven-like place a hell-like place or otherwise but these guys are from somewhere else and they don't really look kindly on pretty much anybody but themselves um they're not very nice all right um we journey together let's find this crash you are full up dismiss your weakest warrior <laughs> um i'm gonna have you wait at my camp because we've actually seen what you're capable of and I kind of want to get into a fight with these two new characters before I decide what I'm doing um if if there's enough damage output from our boy Asterion I may not take Lizelle right now I don't know I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with uh, the party very well but heed my words interesting the horned ones mentioned a camp one there this Zoru has seen Githyanki a crash must be near I must interrogate this story. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Okay. Don't give up now. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Ha! Huh. Gail seems interesting. Yeah, she doesn't like it, Yankee, so she was pretty unhappy that we invited Lizelle to our camp. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Yep. Maybe when she, uh, likes us more. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. True. What are you referring to, exactly? Um, thoughts about our little stowaways? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. All right. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. Okay, and what will you do if we actually manage to remove these things? 
I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Where would you go? Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Okay. Kind of seems personal. I won't pry if it's not something you want to talk about. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. All right. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Laisel is delightful. <laughs> In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. I mean, of course. She is kind of scary. <laughs> tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Okay. That's all he's given us now. For now. A Githyanki joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated. But a welcome one, nonetheless. Yep, Shadowheart seems to be the one who's the most down on her, it seems like. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. <laughs> I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. That's a face that says doubt. <laughs> Um, wait, hold on. Oh, I can't tell him to do poetry for me? Don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell about your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Wisdom. Try peering into his mind. Nah. Nah, I don't feel good about that. Wish I had a bag of holding. Swift as my feet can carry me. Why don't we wait a while? Make sure it's safe. Okay. Chapel entrance. You! Not another step, hear me? Boss! Got company up here! What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Okay. Honestly, the ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go too close. Okay, the bonuses helped us get there. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. Okay. Now I know for a fact you can get into a fight there. Fight on our hands. Um, also keep in mind that sometimes you're going to run into stuff like this, so these twisting vines, you can actually get stuck in those. It used to be that when you hovered over it, it would show you somewhere what the, what it was doing. But, maybe that's only in battle, or maybe the way to see that has changed. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. That 
might be worth a look. Oh, okay. It's packed too tight. I'll need a shovel. Okay, so we haven't found a shovel yet. All right, once we find a shovel, we'll need to make sure to mark that. Um, let's see, where are we? Okay, that's us, right there. Okay, how do I place a marker? Or not? There we go. Okay, right there. So we'll have that marked, so once we have a shovel, we can come back to that. See what's there. Something good here, I hope. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything we can do there. Okay, we can use torches for light. Fire swill. Yeah. Send that to camp. We're going to be drinking tonight. <laughs> um, speaking of daggers and stuff. Well, hello. Do you... I can't remember if we can give you two daggers or not. I don't quite remember how that works. No, never mind. I am going to remove that from where's. We're going to send that to Asterion. Keep your distance, darling. Let's see. Let's see. Does it say offhand attack? You will automatically use your bonus action to make an offhand attack while using two weapons, unless you toggle this option. R, toggle dual wielding attacks, which I think you can do here as well. Yep, right there. And so that would just automatically use your bonus action. Gotcha. Well, cool. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Send to camp. Send to camp. Seems simple enough. Thank you, Google Book. Everything all right out there? Gimblebock ran. Your friends abandoned you. Yeah. Not always were a bit soft. <laughs> but I've got plenty of friends who ain't soft. Come in here and you can meet them. Okay. Bunch of shit talk. Alright, so we could try and unlock this door. And in fact, I think that um, Asterion, he should have um, some proficiencies with these tools, which means that he would get some bonuses and stuff. So that's an option. But I did also want to... I also did want to mention at this point that there are oftentimes many ways for you to achieve things in this game. So, at the start of the next episode... I think I'm going to show you, well, by the end of the episode, for sure, you're going to see that there were probably, I think, unless it's changed, there are at least three ways for us to get in here. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, but in the next episode, we're going to try and get into this place. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monar, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, Angel Mejia, Black Mamba90, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.